This is a video for an origami jumping frog. The first step for the origami frog is to pick out a sheet of paper, and now we're gonna start with the white side up, and we're gonna fold a book fold. So take the bottom edge and bring it up to the top, just like this. You can see how you get it nice and lined up. So you don't want it, it's a little askew, it's a little off. You wanna get it as precise as you can. So it lines right up there. Slide it across. And now, we're going to do a diagonal fold. So the diagonal fold is gonna come from this top edge is going to go up against this side edge. So we're gonna fold it over like this. And an important thing, you wanna have a nice sharp point here at the top too. So when I'm folding this over, I'm getting both of these two edges to line up. Do one side, open it up, and then we're also gonna do the opposite side. Now there's two sheets of paper here and it might be on either side, but go ahead and fold both of them at the same time. I'm gonna fold this one over, and again, a nice sharp point right there at the top. So it'll make a nice X here at the top of the paper. Next, we're gonna flip the whole paper over and take the top edge of this X, and we're gonna fold it down to the bottom edge of this X. So if you see where these two points are right here, we're gonna fold them down to these two points, which are the bottom of the X. So we fold it down right like this, all the way across. So if you open it back up again, you can see how the line that we made went straight through the middle of that X. We folded this. Now flip it over. We'll have a little bit sort of like a ski jump going on right there. So fold, fold it over so it looks just like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our finger and put it right on the center of the paper. So put it right in the middle of that X and push down and there's a moment where the paper is going to pop right there. You see how it went from, it started over here like this, and then the paper is gonna pop where these two edges are gonna pop up. So now, we're gonna fold these two edges in, and as these two edges come in, the top part sort of comes down as well, and go ahead and flatten the whole thing down. It makes what is kind of a water bomb base right there at the top. So it starts up like this, we fold it down, bring this top edge down while these two triangles come in, it sort of looks like a house shape. I love the nice shape of a house right there. Next step, take the bottom edge and fold it up to right here, the bottom edge of that triangle. Fold it right up there, just like that. After that, we're gonna take these two corners. There's these two open flaps that are sort of available and free right here. We're just gonna take those two flaps and put them right to the top of that triangle. On the left side, and also on the right side, like that. And then after that step, we're gonna take both of these two edges and fold them into the middle. It's very close to a cupboard fold, where you see how I fold both of these edges over. It's sort of like a cabinet or cupboard doors. You see how they open up and close just like that. So once those have been folded over, go ahead and squish them good. There's a lot of paper here, so we're gonna have to use some pretty hard squishes right here, some hard folds. And then take the bottom of this and fold it up to right about here, right where the, the triangles have their biggest point, right there at the top. Fold it right up to there. That's the first fold, and then fold it back down to the bottom edge. Make sure it doesn't go past the bottom edge it's okay if it's even a little bit less than the bottom edge, because you want to have that under enough for the spring on the frog. So now, I'm going to show you, when you open up these two legs and you flip them over, that's the finished frog, but it's really important, you have a nice little S-curve right here. It's a really nice S-curve, that, that's, uh, that's the spring that you're going to use to help make him jump. This is a jumping frog. And the way it works is put your finger right on top of the frog, and pull back and then let it slide off your finger. <laughs> and once it slides off your finger, he should jump pretty well. It depends on how, how much of that spring you have. But try not to just push and squish him and squish him flat. You sort of have to slide your finger off the back. And that is the origami jumping frog.